Hello there! So as you can see, this is a time lapse of me drawing Leo from the 2003 series of the TMNT. And I'm doing this because I just have a lot of love for this series. And it's a big part of my childhood. So in this video, I'm not going to talk about deeply about my art process. The only thing that I'm going to say is probably that I started as a figure drawing, but then it somehow it turned into a turtle. Also, a big inspiration for this piece is one of my favorite episodes from the series, The Shredder Strikes Back. This is from part one inspired, but to be more precise, it's right when Leo faces off all the armies of foot soldiers and Hun and elite guards that Shredder sends in his way. So now in one of these corners, you're probably gonna see a box where I play some videos from the series and with some Leo moments, because this is a Leo drawing, and I'm gonna talk over them. And just, I think that will be fun. Just share my love with the series with you guys. And if you're here just for the drawing, you can always mute the video, put some music on, I don't know. Just enjoy the drawing without <laughs> hearing me fangirling over this. But uh, I, I actually recently watched the series without the nostalgia in my way, so I have some critiques and cons about the show. So yeah, let's just start with it. No. Okay, so I think Leo's story begins mostly at the Shredder Strikes episodes in the first season. So I'm gonna do a, a quick review of the first season. Uh, again, this is my opinion, so you can feel whatever you want. Um, for me, the first season is a masterpiece. There isn't one single bad episode I think the season has a really good pacing. It starts with the Mousers and gradually evolves into more serious villains. Yeah, I know in the end there's this big plot hole where the Guardians think that the Shredder is dead, but they should know that he's not dead. But that's not bothersome. That's not a big deal, in my opinion. By the way, here in this shot, when Leo reads Orokusaki's message, I always get distracted by his eyebrows. They're going up and down way too frequently. And then you think they shine in the end like it's some kind of a love letter. But yeah, that's whatever. Let's dance. The first battle with the Shredder is always great after Leo declines to join the dark side. This is a Leo video and Shredder deserves a whole another video on himself and a drawing of course on himself. So I'm gonna show this one epic Leo moment in this episode. And that's when he faces the boss of this episode, Han. And the cool thing about Han is that he's an original character only for this show. He wasn't in the comics, he literally destroys them. And right when you think Han is going to kill Leo, this happens. Get back! Look out! That was some inner anime fighting spirit there, but it was so cool. And now on to my favorite Leo episode from this series, The Shredder Strikes Back Part 1. All that I can say is that just the Shredder keeps sending Leo foot soldiers, then he sends more foot soldiers, then he sends the invisible ninjas, then he sends more foot soldiers. I don't know where Shredder keeps getting all these foot soldiers, but they're just an infinite amount of them. By the way, a thing I learned as a kid while watching this series is that Rain makes a fight scene way more epic. And then after all the waves of foot soldiers, Hun arrives. And Leo is like, oh god, come on, how many, how many of you guys do I have to defeat? You can see that episode that he is the most killed turtle. He, he really does defeat a lot and a lot of foot soldiers. And you start to wonder, okay, what could Shredder send in his way that will surprise him that he's never faced before? And then this happens. The elite guards! They were so epic. Ah, when you see them, when you see them for the first time, it's just holy shit. And Leo is like, oh no, oh god. Oh. Then you don't even think anymore. You're like, okay, these guys are new. But Leo is still focused. 
He's still willing to fight them. And Liu just jumps and starts attacking, but they disappear and you're like, okay, what more could happen? I'm already at the edge of my seat. I mean, that's what's going on? The silence. And Leo gets really shocked here. He doesn't know what's happening. And Shreddy uses this distraction. And now they attack him. And Leo is, what the fuck is going on? What, a, what am I doing? What's going on? How is he alive? Little chills. I'm sorry. I just I always get hyped up when watching this episode. And Liu is broken by the Shredder, he develops even a fear of the elite guards. And this here is a cool moment where he defeats that fear. And now we're heading into the Sword Clash with Liu and the Shredder. Ah, the Sword of Tengu! <laughs> I love the love the Shredder has for this sword. This was aired on four kids, by the way. Season two is also pretty good, and this is a cool moment from it. The sword of Tengu. You just throw all the logic out of the window and just enjoy the moment. Oh, how do you do that? You want it back? And Shredder is like, oh, I hate my life, man. The ultimate ninja was so weak in my opinion, but this took a into a fight. is great by the way you get introduced to new characters like agent bishop you get some cool episodes like same as it never was in exodus but season three is the season where everything starts to go downhill for leo so season four has way too many fillers and the bishop mutations are way too much for me leo's suffering is great and after exodus things are not the same for him he starts uh, getting moody and suffers from PTSD and depression. I... I don't know. Well, I guess I do. It's... I just can't stop thinking about the last time we faced off against the Shredder. That the only way that we could have defeated him was by blowing ourselves up. I couldn't protect my brothers. My master. I feel like such a complete failure. And no matter how I try to rationalize it, justify it, it always comes down to the fact that I wasn't good enough. It no! starts to get what? even worse. We didn't finish the job. We blew it. Again, we blew it. We did the best we could. At least we stopped half the convoy. Half. We stopped half. And only because we got lucky. Is that good enough for you? Is it? We're always one step behind. We act like a bunch of amateurs. How many times were you gonna get beaten before you guys wise up and realize this isn't a game? Until he snaps and things get really out of hand. So Lear's journey to the ancient one is really great. A great introduction to a character, by the way. <laughs> this is where Leo finally faces his demons and realizes that he can change the past. And I'm just gonna let the whole thing play here, it's really good.
kid! Leo! Help me! Help me! Leo! The Shred is coming for us! You gotta do something! Do something! Save us, Leonardo! We are all counting on you, my son! I'm sorry! I did the best I could! I did the best I could! There wasn't any more I could have done! If there was nothing more you could have done, why do you punish yourself so? fight is great here because when Leo faces Karai it's like he's facing his former angry self. Your own anger defeats you Karai. You remind me of a turtle I used to know. 